what is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking Johnson 4 here bring us more Battlefield Hardline. Today we're going to be comparing Battlefield Hardline against Battlefield 4. Was it an upgrade? Was it a good game? You know, was the mechanics still, imp have they improved, you know? Are the maps better? Everything, you know, is there anything new compared to Battlefield 4? We're going to be talking about it here in this whole video, including graphics. One of the first things that I really want to mention is it is the um, the snipers. They're quite very accurate. There's there's nothing compared to Battlefield 4 where you have to like uh, stay in a distance in order for you to get an actual kill. Now this time the snipers are more easier to use, a lot more friendly using. So um, you can actually pull off some quick scoping in this game. It's very easy. But for sure on the final product, we're going to be able to see how difficult, you know, stuff will be. Because I know they're going to be adding more recoil to the guns. Because it's just this is just a beta, so everybody can be happy and everything. But once the full game comes out, I have a feeling they're going to be adding more recoil to each of one of the weapons. So, yeah. Just like the Battlefield uh, 4 beta. It was like that for a little bit too. Like, the snipers were all accurate as hell and, you know, you didn't need to keep your distance. But once the full game came out... Pretty much the game was kind of, you know, way different compared to the beta. So moving on to the next thing, I want to compare Battlefield Hardline to the uh, to Battlefield 4 are the weapon mechanics. It does feel quite different, and um, the weapons, as I tell you, they don't have a lot of recoil on them. But for sure on the full version, they're gonna add more recoil. And also, the weapon selection is quite minimum on both sides, on the cops and on the robbers. There's only five on each side, like five SMGs, five assault rifles on each side. And I'm like, there better be ten on the final product, because I don't want to be just stuck with just five or four. There's even one section with just three. No, well, actually four selections, and that's it, which is the assault rifle selection on the uh, cop side, I believe. And hopefully they do have more, because... This little narrow selection of weapons is just very uncomfortable. Like, I want to be more creative. I, I don't want it to be like uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare where you only have like two usable weapons. The freaking, you know, the assault rifle, uh, what's it called, the bow, and the SMG ASM. Those are the only two usable weapons in that fucking game. This game, there better be more. And by the way, there's a lot more gadgets, it's a, which is to my next uh, comparison. Uh, the gadgets and equipment is quite different from uh, Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4, you know, you had your TUGS, you had your spawn beacon, you had all these, you know, regular military st militaristic stuff. This, you have the Claymore. This time, you do have a mine, though. You do have a mine, but that's only for the scout class. And it's kind of quite awesome because you never know you're going to step onto one and you're just going to explode like with no freaking sound. It's just kind of weird, you know. It doesn't sound like a mine. It sounds more like a laser and you just die once you step on it and no sound happens. So, um, yeah, it's quite weird, the little mines. Um, what's another thing I want to talk about? The little taser gun. The little taser gun is fucking powerful as hell. It's just a one-shot kill. I mean, you all you do just behind the, just stand behind the, your enemy and just shoot him, and it's a one-shot kill, which is pretty much what I needed. Because all the other pistols, sometimes, you know, I had to like click the R2 several times in order to kill my opponent. But no, with the freaking uh, taser gun, all I had to do just put my fucking face in front of my enemy and just shoot him with him, and now fucking win the gunfight. It's a nice way to cheat, but at the same time, I'm saving my own ass. And I don't think it counts like a like a kill. That's what I'm starting to notice because I do check my scoreboard after I do a taser kill, and it doesn't give me a, a kill. So um, yeah, but it's still okay. You know, at least I'm seeing my ass and my teammates' ass. So kind of a good teamwork right there. The maps, well, there's still not a lot of map selection here in this game. So all I'm gonna say is that we gotta wait for the full product. But overall, the maps are quite small. Compared to Battlefield 4, we had like fucking logistic ass maps. This game, I think it's gonna be more fast paced. We got, we want more gunfights, and you know, and that's what's gonna happen in every single one of your matches. It's just pure fucking gunfights because the maps are super small. There's gonna be a lot of action going on, which leads me into this next thing. There's a reason why there's no tanks in this game. They wanted it to be more of a gunfight. You gotta have more gun skills this time. Not, none of this bullshit where you, you go into a SWAT tank. And you just sit there all day shooting your goddamn missiles. I remember back in Battlefield 4, people would just camp with a fucking SWAT tank. Or whatever it was, little freaking, little tank that just shoots a bunch of missiles. Not the regular tank, the fucking, 
missile tank or whatever it's called. You know, it was quite annoying and um, good thing they, it was good riddance because now we got more balancing in the game. It's all about the gunfights. It's all about the gun skill, and um, I believe that's good. And that pretty much gives me a thumbs up for the beta. You know, hopefully there's more to to this because. You know, it looks pretty impressive. There's more gunfights now, and you gotta have more gun skills. We pretty much that's why some of the Battlefield fanboys are quite upset, cause you know, oh, no more tanks, so I can no longer just sit in the corner and increase my KD like a fucking douchebag, you know. And they're now exposed, cause now they gotta go on the field either to snipe or shotgun, cause the same people who who just stay in the tank in the corner and just shoot missiles are the same ones that use the shotguns and the snipers. So now they're exposed. Now they gotta go out there and kill some people. So that's my review. That's my comparison on Battlefield 4 to Battlefield Hardline. I think there's more to it, but uh, that's uh, all the time I got for you to now, for now, guys. And uh, what is your opinion? Do you think Battlefield Hardline did a good job, or is it a was it a bad upgrade? So let me know in the comment section. So subscribe for more if you guys want to see more Battlefield Hardline.